everybody, welcome to the Ghost of Mickey Show! Oh god, I went too far back. <laughs> so, welcome to our YouTube channel. Yes, this is Man and Adam's YouTube channel. Amazing <laughs> Um, So, we're going to do some nails today that are like... That are a little bit, a little bit... Um, What's the word? Reptile. I was going to say reptile. <laughs> Reptiley. Reptile. Yeah, like snaky, reptiley, crocodiley, kind of like a yeah, but a bit of a glam one, because we want to do glam with a bit of animal skin. So yeah, let's get cracking. So I've already put Cheryl's tips on. She's already prepped and everything like that. Cheryl's a nail tech herself. Just give them a nice clean. Let me get some pink gloves on. We've gone from black gloves to pink gloves. Because why not? It is. It is nice. So that's the um, glitter army. Salon Sanitize uh, Spray. <laughs> so, let's have a look. Now, if you're wondering what we've used on these, don't worry, we'll link that below as well. How? Because I don't know what you've used. I'm going to tell you all right now, young gentlemen. Here we go. We have, in the other nails, we have Snow Fairy, and then we also have... Mirrorball Mega Mix, and they both buy A and A glitters. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me tell you, just divine. So we are going to do a smile line on this nail and a full cover pink nail on this nail. So we need to use our prep spray. Now you can either spray it directly onto the hand. Or you can spray it onto a lint-free wipe and give it... Oh my god, you bit of a wuss. Oh, is that the one you bashed? Yeah. Okay. So you can give it a wipe like that. So, full cover, smile line. And we're going to use Dainty Doll by Glitter Armor. We've got the Glitter Armor Premium Adhesion acrylic liquid and then we have the glitter armor power bond acid primer you do not need a lot a little bit let it disperse over the nail so this is going to be a full cover nail and the shape we're doing is a ballerina shape place my bead down and we're going to tip the finger down and come behind the bead and we're going to bring that product down to the tip of the nail. Working side to side. Next bead, notice I'm working from the tip and we get further back to the nail. We tip the finger down, we tap the back, and we start to slide it over the previous bead to connect them together very thinly. Next bead, we're going to do this cuticle area. So we're picking up quite big beads. If you're doing a shorter version of this, your bead pickup will be a lot smaller. Okay. 
you can see a little dip here. I'm just going to add a small bead. Right, so we're going to put a pinching tool on. This is the Nail Gorgar pinching tool. Give that a little bit of a pinch. While that's pinching, we're going to work on this smile line. So we start with one bead here. We can keep the finger tipping down. And we're going to bring the product up. Work on one side at a time. Better it here. Now, this is where we start to tuck those sides and start to get this smile line in place. Sides nice and straight, and they point in, and then you've got a nice round bottom. Just a little round bottom. Next, bead's going to work the cuticle and slide that over to build your apex. So, just filing round that smile line just to get it nice and perfected. So, I'm going to use Nail Perfect's Paint on French. Ooh, nice viscosity. And we're literally going to go straight up to that brick wall. So cleanser, and I'm just going to soften this now with a little bit of cleanser on my brush. And we're going to cure that and we're going to do two coats of that. So just on that brick wall, in you go. So we haven't got any time on this it's no, it doesn't tell us how long to cure for so because it's a white gel and it's so pigmented so like Cheryl says you know white is so pigmented it takes longer to cure have you ever had it where it's like rippled rippled or it's gone like a volcano yeah. and it's found a little pinpoint and it's come out yeah so you need to put it on nice and thin and make sure you cure it for 
a mini. And next coat. Make sure you get right up to that edge. Pop me that in. I'm just going to wipe off the sticky layer from the gel paint. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the same pink again and we're going to fill that in with pink. And what you'll get is when we file, you'll have a very thin French line. I know. So we're going to put this straight up to that white line we've created. And you don't have to do pink, you could do whatever colour you wanted. You know, it's just a different technique. You could do black or you could do, you know, any colour or, pink, you know, like a bright pink or whatever colour you want to. You could even do a glitter. Oh yeah, with that perfect white line just really enhancing. Nice. Right, so let's give this a nice file, get it all into shape. This is the one that's going to have a full design over the entire nail. We're going to do the reptile sort of sneaky pattern. Animal skin, not real animal skin. <laughs> Yeah, you've done that one, haven't you? Mm. You know, like that kind of... You don't want corn on the carpet, do you really? That's... Right, metal fire, get up on the sides. I really like this. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, There's something like quite... Ballerina, yeah, it's nice. You don't have to do this next thing. No, I do. There's something quite... Just, just classy like and just, I don't know, modern. Don't do it on mm. anybody else. I'm oh, sorry, Faye. I thought you were, sorry, I thought you were Faye for a minute then. I know, but, you know... It's nice, isn't it, that? I mean, that was all my idea. What's that? What's it down? Not sure about that. So we can't do it on anybody else. No. Definitely not Faye. Nice. <laughs> Just like that. No, you're not doing it, especially on Faye. Yeah, no way. She's not allowed. Sorry, Faye. <laughs> you're getting sorry. more times than me. Sorry, not sorry. Stick to your 30 glitters and you and you do. <laughs> do you know what? I wouldn't mind if she had this. It'd be a lot easier than doing all the millions of glitters that she expects. She wouldn't accept just that. Look at that. That's like... Beautiful. Yeah, there's Where's just something now? really why, why are you gonna classy are about gonna it. Are you going to You know, are you putting the snake skin right up to that? I'm going, I'm, going to, I'm going to not go right up to it. That is lovely. Isn't that just like... She sat back in a chair like... I think, I think that just... Sometimes you have to keep it simple, stupid, don't you? Yeah, just... So I'm just going to buff over now, get everything nice and smooth. The smoother we get it, the more glitter you will see. And the smoother we get it, we're able to do some lovely nail art and it'll also make your top coat really smooth as well and shiny it's so shiny Ooh, the desk kicked up you 
Oh, I don't know very much. So, we're going to do, do a design on this nail. I've not done it before. I hope it's going to work. Please pray for me. So, we're going to use the Lacente White Magic. We're going to completely do fill the nail. So, we're going to do a top to bottom white nail. Now, I've not used this white before. Oh, oh look at the fuzz. Let's get rid of the fuzz. Because this is more changeable. Okay. So when when you don't always want a full white acrylic nail, do you? This is more changeable. So when Cheryl wants to fill them herself, because she's a nail technician, she can change it up. She could have a lot of French, she could do it all with gel polish. So it just makes it more versatile, shall we say. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. yeah. Pop me that in. I'm going to do two coats of that. Right, so second layer, what we're going to do is, I'm going to put white down the middle, Where's this fuzz coming from? Blue, nobody's got blue on. Oh, yeah. That's Adam's fault. <laughs> <laughs> the blue bit of fuzz coming off Adam's jumper. Right, so we're gonna come down the middle with white. And then, so that's the magic white, and then we're gonna use Biosh. No, B-I-S-O-U. Bijou. Bijou? 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 I can't read it, so I'm not sure. Bijou? No, it's got a J in it, hasn't it, Bijou? Yeah, Bijou. This be a nightclub. B-I-J-O-U. Is that green or pink? It's like a nude. So we're going to come like this nudie coloured on the side. Nudie creamy. Like it's making me salivate, to be honest. Like I need to eat it. And I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to resist it. And then, with an ombre brush, I'm just going to pull down and just make this blend a little bit. It doesn't need to blend perfectly. Turn the brush so the colours are on the right side. And do it again. Top to bottom. It'll just blend them a little bit. So we have creamer edges and then a whiter colour through the middle. Pop that in the lamp. Right, then we're going to top coat. Pop that in. Then I'm going to use Lucente's Silver Chrome. And I've got Nail Gorgor's Glitter Pigment Applicator. So I'm going to use this applicator to rub on my chrome. And when you're doing this, you want to slightly undercure your gel top coat by about 10 seconds. It will help everything stick a little bit more. I have put a top coat on. Did you? you did did you? Totally missed that. You totally missed that one. <laughs> He's not paying attention, is he? That's a no. Well, I, was, I was paying attention like <laughs> six hours ago. Well, yeah, 
Make it. I see the chrome in the hole now. I'm going to chrome the whole nail. Dust off the excess. Then we're going to take the white, which is magic white, and we're going to put some on a palette. Small brush. This is the Miko brush. Then we're going to do some little scale shapes. Now it's important to make these quite irregular. The more irregular they are, the more realistic it looks. Don't make them all look exactly the same. So down the middle first. I'm going to cure that first, then we're going to come smaller at the sides. And the same down this side. Then. So what I'm doing now is I'm using the cleanser to rub away the chrome and it'll just leave like a little bit of chrome around the edge of the markings which will make it look a little bit greyer right around the edge. You see? So you can see how you get this little grey hue behind the white as well. And you got a little bit of sparkle attached to the very edges. It gives it like a shadow. Yeah, like a shadow effect. Mm -hmm. And you can also see in the background that slight colour change where we did that creamy colour on the outer edge. And the white down the middle. See what I mean? We get like a shadow round, right round the edge of them. Yeah. I mean, you could probably put a darker chrome on, maybe a darker silver, like, like a pewter. Meta. Yeah, and then it'd really intensify even more. And I'd like to leave it textured like that, but do you want a top coat on? Would you prefer a top coat on? Because of your working.
it, put that in one. Right, so, I love, do you know what? I like the creamy tones in this that complement the creamy tones in that as well. Love that. We're gonna put some stones on, then we're gonna top coat. So I'm gonna use the crystal boxes. Um, crystals, because we love them. And then I have got some AB size SS3s from Blue Street Crystal as well. So put, just put some at the back here. Yeah. You don't think we should? You don't think? Mm. I, I obviously, I mean, I, I am aware that you both like extraordinaires. We're helping you. Yeah. And so I'm just going to sweep right next to the stones with the top coat. So we're gonna use the gorgeous oil. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I've done that with me. Uh, no, Faye keeps prom keep well keeps threatening to take it with her, and I'm like, Pff. is that the only bottle you got? It's the only bottle I have. Don't you want to have a word? I want to have a word. <laughs> Indigo. Send me a quadrillion bottles, please. <laughs> <laughs> what about this size? So I can just bathe, bathe in it, yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, yes, I am a drama queen. Put it in the spray tan machine. Oh, yeah. Look at them. I love them. They're all very different, but they go. I know, I really like that one, it's just gorgeous. I like it, I like it, like it, like it, a bit of me, that, a bit of me. There we are. Well guys, that's a wrap. <laughs> Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram and all that shebang. Like, share, comment and all that shebang. And I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da, Shebang. <laughs> shabang, shabang!